Hey guys, it's Justin from Delish, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the absolute best bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. We're gonna kinda of go through what I look for in the perfect deli bacon, egg, and cheese. When you're from New Jersey and New York, like deli's a religion, and now, welcome to the church. Weirdly, the thing that's most important to me is this beautiful, crusty, swirly baby. It's called a Kaiser roll. It's very soft, you can kinda, of, I'm squeezing it. Like, it's kinda of crumbly, crusty. It's perfect, it's kinda of trashy. And that's what's great about it. And bacon, egg, and cheeses are trashy food. So you gotta have trashy bread when you're making bacon, egg, and cheese. Second, trashy bacon. This is not your time for thick cut, like gorgeous bacon. Sandwiches are really about balance and especially balance of textures. Bacon is gonna be our only texture, but I want it to be that like mix of crispy and soft and chewy. Other really important thing, again, guys, it's three ingredients, but I managed to make it so complicated. It's the eggs, there's a different debate. People will just do like an over hard egg. They'll just put the egg in the pan, let it fry off and put it in the sandwich. That's delicious, I love that. But if you wanna make the best New York style breakfast sandwich, you're gonna to wanna to do like a really soft scramble. Like you're gonna to wanna to see like streaks of white in your egg. And then the last thing, the most important thing is the cheese. Basically a sauce in and of itself. People talk about putting ketchup on their egg sandwiches. That's great, go ahead, but I don't need it. It was genetically engineered to be a melty cheese and I live for it. Go to your deli counter and get some American cheese. You'll thank me later. It is just, it, there is a difference and I hate when people trash talk American cheese and not being fancy. Truly, it's gonna make a difference and it's gonna make a melty perfect sauce that's gonna hold our whole sandwich together. I can't, I'm so excited. I can't believe I get to make this. I'm so psyched. All right, let's get started. We're starting with bacon. Really easy stuff here, guys. We're gonna go over medium high heat. I know some of you out there love that extra well done bacon. It's not for this sandwich and it's not for me, folks. Believe me, you're gonna love biting into that and then also contrasting it with that like crunchy part of the bacon that got a little bit more well done. And so Is we're gonna- bacon theory that we're talking about? Yeah, I, I'm a doctor. I'm both the head of the church and the head of the university of the breakfast sandwich. There's a lot going on here, guys. We're gonna go in. I'm doing three per Sammy because we go hard when we make our breakfast sandwiches. Three pieces of bacon, you could go one, you could go two. I like three because I like bacon. And what are we doing? We're not trying to be healthy. We're having a breakfast sandwich. Is there anything more pretty? This is a this is a hazard. I have I my shirt is a little open and we're doing this for the bacon grease. So this should go for like six to seven minutes. But again, the really beautiful thing about this is even though I am absolutely so strict about what I like in my breakfast sandwich, do whatever the heck you want. You could have it be that meat chip that I was talking about. I'm just talking about what I prefer. You see, like we got our crispy, more dark bits on parts, and then we also have like these little more fatty bits. That's perfect to me. That's like kind of bacon, egg, and cheese. Like that's our perfect, what do you, equilibrium. Bacon equilibrium. Guys, we are, we are getting real theoretical about breakfast sandwiches. So I'm gonna take it out and remove it to a paper towel lined plate, um, and then we can keep moving on. It's already coming together. What, have we, we've been shooting for like five minutes? Eggs. Large, brown, cage-free if you got them. We're just gonna crack them in our bowl, cracking on the surface, making sure you don't get no shell. Two eggs per Sammy. See how I'm barely, like some people go crazy when they're whisking. We don't want to here. You see how there's still like full white in here? That's what we want. Now we can move over to the pan. So this really only took like basically a minute, especially over medium high heat. I already turned the heat down. You can see like these, there's yolky parts, there's white parts. I barely even touched it. Like I truly just like, I made it look like I was doing more than I was doing. So next we're going to pile on our beautiful thinly sliced American so it can start to melt. Also just being in the bun itself is really gonna help to bring the sandwich together and help it melt. A couple minutes in the pan, let the cheese melt just a little bit. It almost looks like a crunch, crunch wrap supreme with just the inside of it being American cheese. Okay, look! Perfect. Maybe even a little bit over, but I actually kind of like it. I like the little bit of browns and some not so browns. Look at that. You can see the perfectly cooked, chewy, crispy bacon, the folded, beautiful, delicate egg, and then that luscious, it's, let's call it what it is, it's a cheese sauce. All, all you need to make a sauce of cheese 
is American cheese, baby. There's truly nothing that makes me happier than breakfast sandwiches. It's the perfect way to start your day. You may not live near a New York style corner deli, but now you have the tools and the know-how to make a perfect breakfast sandwich. I'm gonna bite this, okay? Cause you need to watch it cause it's, you're gonna see how happy I am. All right, now I can start my day. I beg of you, please try this recipe and let us know how it went.